Joining us now is Inspiration4 crew member Haley Arsenault. Haley, so great to have you on. Uh, first Hi, off, thanks for having me. <laughs> tell us a bit about your background and, and how you even became interested in space. So I've be always been interested in space. Um, I remember my family went to NASA when I was age nine and I got to see where the astronauts trained. And of course, every kid sees that and wants to grow up and be an astronaut. But then a few months later, I was diagnosed with bone cancer. And that's how my St. Jude journey began. You know, the diagnosis was so scary, but from the moment I walked in the doors of St. Jude, I just felt hope and I felt like I was gonna be okay. And I spent a year here, I underwent some pretty intense chemo and surgery that ultimately saved my leg and saved my life. And, and then all, all I ever wanted to do since I was 10 was grow up and work at St. Jude, which now I have my dream job. I work as a PA at St. Jude. And I was so shocked a couple of months ago when I got a phone call out of the blue asking me to go to space on this mission. Um, that was going to be my next question for you. Wh what was that like? I mean, what was that process like? A and what was your reaction to that phone call? I mean, did you have to apply for this at all? Or did they just kind of know your story and pick you? I didn't apply for this at all. Um, St. Jude one day said they wanted to talk to me about a unique opportunity. And they called me and they told me about this mission and how this first all civilian mission to space was being used as a fundraiser for St. Jude. And then they absolutely shocked me by asking if I wanted to go to space. And immediately I said, yes. And, and then I asked my mom, of course, made sure she was okay <laughs> with it. But, um, but just, you know, recognizing what an incredible once in a lifetime opportunity this is. And then also how much good this mission is doing for St. Jude, the hospital that saved my life. Um, it really is incredible. Um, so the Inspiration4 is gonna be the first civilian, of course, astronaut mission. Uh, what is the prep like? Do you have to undergo training? We are going through training, about six months of training. And a lot of it has been studying and academics. And then we've done all the classic astronaut training. Like we did centrifuge training to learn about our G-forces. We're gonna do some water survival training. We did some hypoxia training. Um, and on top of this, the commander of this mission, Jared Isaacman, has had some additional ideas for team bonding. And we went and hiked Mount Rainier together. And then next month, we're gonna do some fighter jet training. And then on top of all that, I'm getting some additional space medicine training as I'm the medical officer for this mission. Um, so incredible. So I know that you've said, quote, until this mission, I could never have been an astronaut. The mission is opening up space travel to people who are not physically perfect. Uh, how important is this opportunity uh, for you and others who had these dreams of going to space, or even if you have a different type of dream, but, but you've been told that you couldn't do it, um, perhaps because you had, uh, as you have a, a prosthetic leg or, or something like that. How, how important is this uh, opportunity? I'm just so excited about this mission because, I mean, it's opening space travel up to so many more and more people, and I get to have a role in that. I get to help represent people that that have prosthetic body parts. I have a prosthesis in my leg, and until now, I could have never gone to space. But the future is more and more people will be going to space, and getting to be the first is incredibly exciting. And working with the kids at St. Jude, I tell them, you know, if I can do this, you can do this. And they all tell me they want to be astronauts now, which is so cute. But, you know, this mission is getting them to think about life after cancer and growing up and accomplishing their dreams. Oh, it's, it, I'm, I'm almost in tears, actually, just hearing you talk about it. What has some of their reaction been? I mean, besides just saying, you know, oh, I want to go to space, too. When you tell them about it, wh what are they saying? You know, I, I can see it in their eyes that it's giving them hope. Um, and also they have so many really sweet questions and some of their questions I haven't even thought of, um, everything from what happens if I see an alien to like how the day and day, the day to day things of living in space will work. Um, but I also really see it in their parents' eyes that I think they see a lot of their kids in me. And I hope that it's giving their parents this hope that their kid is also going to grow up and accomplish their dreams. Um, really incredible. What exactly is the mission? What are you guys going to be doing when you're in space? We're going to be spending three days in space orbiting the Earth. About every 90 minutes, we'll go around the Earth. And while we're up there, we're going to, we're going to do some research. And what I'm really excited about is while we're in space, we're going to call the St. Jude patients. 
and you know they'll get to see somebody just like them in space. Oh, wow, hopefully we can get some video of that because it'll be incredible to see. Um, Haley Arsenault, inspiration for a crew member and a physician assistant, so great to have you on um, and congratulations.